Hi, my name is Phil Burt and I'm here today to explain to you our bike fit process. First of all, I want to talk to you about the off and on bike assessment, which is the spine of all our bike fitting. Everything starts with sitting down and talking to you about the goal of the bike fit. That completely skews everything else and if we don't establish what the goal is at the beginning, how will we know we we're being successful and how are we going to deliver what you want? Now that could be a load of different things and we'll do some separate videos about, for example, saddle sores, aero assessment, but we'll start with the off and on bike assessment, what I say is the spine of my assessment process. First of all, we're going to look at you off the bike once we establish your goal and take a bit of a medical history and that means uh, in a physiotherapy way, looking at you, your musculoskeletal setup, you know, your, whether your injury history is reflected upon your range of movement, your strength or your control, how you walk, for example, what size feet you've got, whether you're anthropometrically, posh word for <laughs> long legs, short back, different things like that, and all those things that are off the bike that might mean something about your interaction with it when you're on it. Once we've got that information, we move swiftly on to the on-bike assessment. I use this stuff behind me, Retool, it's just a measuring stick. I know how to use it, I've been using it many years. There's different existing systems do exist. But the main key thing is we use Retool, we've got GBMI saddle pressure if we need it. We've got the specialized DSD, which is the digital sit bone device to help us determine which saddle width you should, which, which saddle you should be on. Now, going through all that, that's a lot of objective data. But the most important thing is that then we bring all that together at the end, talk to you about what we've seen, why we think it exists, and what the plan is. We formulate a plan with you. Some of which will happen in this room and may realize you and achieving your goal straight away. Some of which may make time. Remember, the person is adaptable and the bike is adjustable. A lot of adjustments we can do in here. Some, for example, different crank lengths you may need to order. If you need to adapt, that might be a plan that you leave working on certain musculoskeletal elements. You might drive a desk for a living, for example, and want to be really good at time trialing, which is like painting the ceiling. So basically, you may have some work to do on that. There is no other thing around the fit coordinates that will help you other than doing that. But quite often, it's a blend of both. And what you leave with is what my mantra again and again, it's evolution, not revolution. I will not change everything of your position in one session if it's a lot. It is the wrong thing to do, may result in injury. What we believe is a plan that you can follow and realize your bike fit goal. And just for clarity, we only have one cost. Whether you're coming for saddle injury, aero fit, straightaway bike fit, optimization of position, recovery from an injury, removal of an injury, it is just one cost. The process is the process, and once we establish your goal at the beginning, it delivers that. 